three. Mm. We have been to Costa and Starbucks and we are going to test their festive menu. Yes. Fortunately, our Starbucks did not have the full menu, but we will make do with what we have. So yeah. we'll start with gingerbread lattes. Yes. You can't start the Christmas season with that. So we got now straight away. It's not the. Is it the kind of? It's not the kind of red cup that I see on everyone else's. No, it is not actually. Yeah, it still looks nice cup. to me though. We need to check if that's the thing though. Mm. So that's the Starbucks ginger. Or I've had the Costa. Yes. What are the sizes? I don't know what yours is. This one was Grande, which is medium. I ordered the medium one of this. Mm. That's much better. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. What? But that's different. What is so that? So the Costa one is called a gingerbread and cream latte, whereas okay. the Starbucks one is just a gingerbread latte. And also the Costa one. Mm. Anyway, so there you go. The Costa. Oh, it did at the start. The Costa one came with that. Starbucks one didn't. The Starbucks one, to be fair, didn't spe didn't say it would. So yeah. It's not as if it were missing out. Are you having some banana? So you'll hear Thea probably because she's having some yeah. banana. So, yeah, let's have the one thing that we have from Starbucks, the toasty to be thankful for. So, I have my half. It has shredded ham hock, turkey, cranberry sauce, potato, a potato. No, a potato, leek, cabbage and sprout hash. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's not a potato, a cabbage. <laughs> Yes. Potato leek, cabbage and sprout hash in a sourdough bloomer topped with cheese sauce and cranberries. It's not very, got a lot of filling. Look at that. Yeah, there's not very much meat. Very sweet. Banana. 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 I would eat it, but I wouldn't order again. Okay. Right. Shall we try the comparison, which is the... The Costa British Turkey and the Trimmings Toasty. British Turkey with smoked bacon, sage and onion stuffing mm. and cranberry sauce and cheese topped with mm. white, topped white bread. Cheese. I don't really know if it's got more. Cheese! 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 Definitely more meatball. Well, I don't know. There wasn't bacon in the last one. Let's try it. This is much better than I would order again. No, no, this is good. Mm -hmm. I've already got a favourite leg. Mm -hmm. So... Oh, it's yummy. Cranberry is actually quite prominent in that, but not overpowering. It's very sweet, it's nice. We don't remember the prices, but they will be appearing here on screen. And you can compare them yourself with that. Next thing, as we fire through this quickly, is the Pigs Under Blankets Panini from Costa. So I wanted to get the panini from Starbucks. Starbucks to compare, which I think is just a festive panini. Yeah, but it was out of stock. So we just got this one anyway. So it is two cocktail sausages by the looks of it cut in half. No, they look bigger than Slightly cocktails. bigger. And one bit of bacon. On top of a tiny yeah. bit of cranberry sauce. Yes, described as British pork sausage, maple cured bacon and cranberry sauce with grated mozzarella and cheddar cheese and stone baked sourdough panini. Mm. There's not this, if I would have this, this would be like kind of a normal order for me. <laughs> Okay, so Oops. I really like the bread, but there's too much bread compared to filling to actually taste the filling. In my thoughts, it's quite. You just taste the bread. Okay, we have a bonus round. We bought the Greg's Festa Bake, which is made from a delicious yes. crumb top pastry filled with pieces of cooked chicken, sage, and onion stuffing and cooked sweet cure bacon covered in a creamy sage and cranberry sauce. The stuffing in here, there's like more filling in a bake the than there is in any of the sandwiches we had. That's my favourite. Mm, sweet. That is very sweet. Mm -hmm. I actually don't know if I can eat a whole one. It's good, but I prefer sweet. I didn't think you'd like that. Mm. Yeah, you can have a little bit of it, Thea. Here's a chara box. Um, 
And I take it back. The Costa's still my favourite. So, Costa, British turkey and trimmings toasty. And the Costa gingerbread latte. Yeah. But then both places do other festive drinks. Yeah. But we couldn't really compare them because they weren't they were, comparable. Yeah, were none they? of them were comparable. So we had to get the two gingerbreads mm. to try both. So will we move on to dessert? Um, or we could eat all this. We could pause. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Okay, on to the final round, which is gingerbread cookies. So, from Starbucks, we did the drive through and we asked for a gingerbread biscuit. On their app, we saw fancy looking ones. We just got just a two pack of plain gingerbreads. They're not even, they're just ginger biscuits. They're just ginger biscuits, actually, yeah, they're not gingerbread. So I think those are just normal pure rounds. Is that what you call them, ginger snaps? I made a mess. Yeah. It is not what we wanted. No, that tastes okay. Okay, next was a full gingerbread man from Greg's with, I think those are Smarty Buttons. A bit of icing, but it's large, so try an arm each. But, again, I don't think these are festive. You can think they're free all year. Even with that design. Well, yeah, we do not have like a Santa hat or something. I do prefer it to this Starbucks ginger snack. Okay. And the last one was from Costa, which is a Santa face with a big beard, and it is a significant size. And it's vegan. Oh, and it's vegan. Okay. So half a beard each. Not really getting much of a flavour off this one. Oh, this is the kind of gingerbread I like. Mushy. Mm. I think my favourite was the Greg's. Mm, I quite like this because it's iced. I think we have a winner all over, all round, all round. Starbucks coffee was bad. Sandwich wasn't great. It was a terrible experience. It took about 30 minutes to get through the drive through and there was like three cars in front of us. And they gave us the wrong ginger biscuits. Yeah. So we can't really... Greg's was good, but you didn't prefer their cookie that I did. I liked Greg's gingerbread cookie, but I just don't think it's festive. Mm. Daddy, Daddy. Can see? And our so, overall favourite is... Costa. I think with their... Panini. No, not their panini. That's not gingerbread man anymore. <laughs> They're toasty. Ooh, yummy. So yeah, Costa's ginger... No. <laughs> Costa's turkey toasty was definitely better than Starbucks. Yes. Turkey toasty. We... And our coffee was far better. Oh yeah. I know. So there you go. We think Costa wins out of Greg's, Costa, and Starbucks. What did you think? Doggy. Doggy. Oh yeah, the doggy. The stocking. Well, thanks for watching. Doggy. And we'll see you again in the next one. Wait. <laughs> Have you tried any of the other festive menus? I do think we'll be trying McDonald's at some yes. point in our um, Vlogmas because, well, McDonald's is life. <laughs> and it's just for McDonald's. And cheese bites. I see they've yeah. got the festive cheese bites. So we are going to try McDonald's at some point, but if you've tried any and if you've got a favourite... Um, or have ones that we should try as well. Takeaway, I guess. Takeaway McDonald's. Uh, takeaway festive menu. Um, let us know below and please like and subscribe and keep up to date with all of our Vlogmas because we are attempting every all single 24. day, but you've seen our riot of a child. So. Was, but we are saving the best to last. On the 24th? Yeah. 24th's always got to be the best. Mm -hmm. So, yep. Hope you've enjoyed and hope you're all not too hungry after that. <laughs> I'm certainly not. <laughs> right, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.